Hey guys, it's Sacred back here with another video, and in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to play full speed PSP games on your jailbroken iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch. Now, I did a non jailbroken tutorial for this, I'll be leaving it for it down below, and I did also a previous jailbroken tutorial, but it's time to make it a little bit more easier. The one that I showed you before it has needed a computer, which is something that probably bothering many of you so I'm doing this tutorial that doesn't require a computer at all even when installing the games and I'm gonna show you exactly what you'll need so basically what you need to do is of course be jailbroken so you can watch this tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 8.3 or 8.4 alright and then basically what you need to do is go ahead and head over to Cydia and add the source that I'll be leaving down below uh, in the description at these two sources so two sources they uh, the ones that I'll be leaving down below in the description. The first one is the PPSSPP repo, and as you can see, cydia.ppsspp.org. So once you add that source, that's the first source you need to add. You're gonna need to install PPSSPP uh, dev latest. That's developer latest. You can download either developer latest or developer working. All right, which one you prefer? So I've downloaded developer latest to get all the new features, and you can download the working, which is fully stable. Alright, so once you download this, basically what you'll need to do is go ahead and add the other source that I'll be leaving down below in the description, which is the Hack Your iPhone repo, which is repo.hackyouriphone.org, I'll be leaving down below in the description. And then go to search and search for the uh, Safari Download uh, Plus, Safari Downloader Plus, so Safari Downloader right here, this one right here. Alright, download it from the Hack Your iPhone repo, it's 3.9-4. K, of course, make sure it has a K next to it, that means it's cracked and it's for free. You can purchase it, of course, from the Big Boss repo. Alright, and once you have both of these set, you're going to find that the PPSSPP app is right here, but there are no games. You cannot play anything uh, inside the game, which is, uh, yeah, you don't have games. So, what you'll need to do to add games, you used to have to use a computer to copy the game that is on your computer here but with Safari Downloader Plus you can now download it directly from Safari and install it using iPhone so the third and final package you'll need from Cydia is iFile and you can find that from the Hacker iPhone repo as well this one right here alright as you can see search for it and download it right here so you'll need PPSSPP, iFile and the uh, Safari Downloader Plus. Alright, now simply what you'll need to do next is go ahead and head over to Safari and then simply what you'll need to do is go and search for the game you want to download. So go search for Google and go to any link that you find proper. So I'm gonna go and search for a game that I want to download and go to the link until I find a proper link for the download I'm gonna show you how to exactly download using Safari Downloader Plus as you can see guys I found a proper download link for the game that I want which is Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tech Force 2 as you can see it says direct download right here simply what you need to do after downloading Safari Downloader Plus is tap and hold on that link and you'll find download target now once you tap on that you just have to wait for a couple of seconds and then this page will pop up so you can select the place where you save the download file so click select and just go ahead right here and as you can see you'll find it downloading so I have two downloading right here and as you can see 1.61 gigabytes and that's the game I'm downloading now here we will need iFile to unextract the, the, the zip file so yeah, this is gonna download as a zip file, so we're gonna show you how to unextract that using iFile. Simply what you'll need to do next is go ahead and head over to iFile, which you downloaded earlier. And then go ahead and go to the uh, section where you chose to download the file in. So it's gonna be a zip file. If it's already an ISO file, which is ISO, as you can see this file right here is an ISO. If it's already an ISO file, then you can go ahead and skip the process that I'm going to show right now. But if it was a zip file like here, the one that I have right here, simply what you'll need to do is go ahead and tap on that zip file, and then tap on Unarchiever, like this. This huge black screen will appear and iFile may crash. If it crashed, don't worry, you'll find your file here. As you can see, it unextracted everything. That was the file that I have here. And now you'll find an ISO, ISO file. So this is the file you'll find. 
all right, which is an ISO file. Now, basically, just go ahead and remember the place where this ISO file is in. So for me, it's in VAR Mobile Downloads. And now you can go ahead and go to PPSSPP. And if it didn't detect the game already, you can go ahead and go to the destination, which is VAR Mobile. Now, let me go ahead and go a little bit out here. As you can see, VAR Mobile or Mobile and downloads and as you can see I've got the game right here and you can go ahead and play the game very well this is very nice thanks guys for watching this video if this did help give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more I'll catch you all in the next one